Hello YouTube, CalcPurgamer1 here, and I finally got my hands on a Blade Stealth. Uh, it's a really nice laptop. Uh, I have posted a preliminary build of my audio visualizer supporting this thing, but that's not the purpose of this video. What I've seen a lot of people ask online on Reddit and on other forums is, how well does the Blade Stealth run Linux, if at all? And I wanted to figure that out. So. This is the Blade Stealth uh, base model, uh, 1440p screen and 128GB SSD. And what I'm going to try and do is boot a live uh, USB stick of Ubuntu Mate 1510. And I picked that just because it's a good um, live distribution. I don't have to bother partitioning or installing anything on the already pretty small SSD in here. And some other things I've got connected that, because I've already played with it a bit, I know I'm going to need are a USB Ethernet connection and a mouse, in this case the uh, Diamondback uh, Chroma. And those are hooked up to a USB 3.0 hub plugged into this USB port. I'm going to plug my flash drive into this USB port. And let's open it up. Turn off the light, and what we're going to want to do is hit F12 when this BIOS screen comes up, and that will give us our boot menu. And we can go ahead and pick UEFI um, generic USB 2.0, which is the flash drive. And on here, I have, like I said, Ubuntu Mate 1510, which I'm going to boot up now. Focus, you stupid camera. There we go. And as, as thus far, there I have not figured out how to control the Chroma keyboard in Linux. Uh, I'm sure we could find a way to reverse engineer the protocol for it and write a driver, but thus far, if you reboot from Windows into Linux, the Chroma keyboard will hold whatever pattern you had in there, but it looks like this is the default pattern that it will get if you boot it up and just boot straight into Linux. It's WASD lit up, arrow keys lit up, enter, and then numbers and F keys are lit up. So, as you can see, right off the bat, it booted into Linux, and uh, we have our 1440p desktop. Everything's kind of hard to read and the touch screen appears to be working just fine so I can go ahead and hit close on that but the trackpad does not work I have not found a way to make that work yet I haven't really looked for a solution but out of the box on Ubuntu 15.10 anyways the trackpad does not work Hopefully that will be resolved with a new kernel update or something. I know, looking through the Windows code, it looks like the trackpad uses an I2C interface, whereas the keyboard and the touchscreen both use a USB interface internally. So if I use my external mouse here, I have a mouse. I'm going to try and increase the DPI a little bit so that you can read what's going on. Let's go and put uh, 125 dpi. Maybe 150. Does that make anything easier to read? Probably not. We'll just zoom in up here. So let's go ahead and look at some stuff. What all we have to play with here. Let me focus on that window so you can read it. Okay. 
first off, let's look at what USB devices this thing has. So those are all of the USB devices on the blade itself. Some of these are external, so Elan Microelectronics Corp, that would be the touchscreen. Razer USA Inc. Um, one of these two. One of them is my mouse, the other one is the built-in keyboard. Ethereos Communications is, I get I think that's the Bluetooth interface, as the Wi-Fi interface is, I want to say that's PCI. Uh, the four-port hub, that's my external hub. Fast Ethernet adapter, that's my external one. So those are the main devices. I think this Realtek Semiconductor Corp device, I think that might be the uh, webcam. So let's look at the PCI devices. So we have integrated graphics, a bunch of other Intel things, PCI bridge, memory controller audio device so the Intel HD audio and yes the network controller Qualcomm Atheros QCA 6174 Wi-Fi is PCI and the NVMe controller or that's the NVMe SSD drive which is on the PCI interface so those are the USB and PCI devices in this thing so let's go ahead and take a look at um, its ability to do graphics. So so if we look at GLX info and look at the renderer string, we have Mesa DRI on Intel Skylake ULT GT2 which corresponds I guess to the Intel 520 graphics and if we do GLX gears we do have hardware acceleration no problem so if we look at this I'm going to go ahead and connect my USB Ethernet device if that even works So off the bat, this um, Linux image does not have the firmware required for the Qualcomm Wi-Fi uh, card. So if we do dmessage, we have so this DM9601, that's my uh, USB Ethernet. It found the USB camera. and it looks like the Bluetooth is USB the touch screens USB so this is um, the issue with uh, getting the Wi-Fi to work that doesn't have the firmware file required for this card on this image I'm sure we can download it once we get a uh, an Ethernet connection going Let's see if I can find the product string for the keyboard. Maybe I passed it up already. input razor razor blade stealth as devices USB one
Yeah, so the Razer Blade Stealth USB device is the keyboard. So for some reason my USB Ethernet isn't connecting. So if that's not going to work then I won't be able to connect to the internet and download the firmware for the Wi-Fi device. So I'm just going to leave it at this for this video. I'll keep looking into it and if I get Wi-Fi working, if I get the touchpad working, then I will post an update. But otherwise, other than that, it looks like pretty much everything works except for the touchpad and the Wi-Fi. And I know the Wi-Fi is only because I'm missing firmware. That should work. So overall, other than the touchpad, that's a pretty big issue. But hopefully we can get that working. And if that works, it looks like this is a perfectly functional Linux computer, which is really good because I really like it as a computer. And if it can run Linux, that's all the better. So, if you're looking at potentially getting one of these and running Linux on it, it looks like it's probably going to be a pretty good option for you. So, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.